Welcome back guys to a new episode of my WWE 2K14 Universe My with the one, the only, the Intercontinental Champion, Cesaro And as you can see on screen guys, like uh, yesterday's episode Cesaro became a Paul Heyman guy Yes guys, he, he, he aligned himself with Paul Heyman And um, you know, uh, last Monday Obviously, in real life, obviously, Cesaro became a whole Paul Heyman guy. So, I thought, you know, why put that? Why not put that in my universe mode? You know, I'm doing a universe mode with Cesaro. And uh, why not just put Cesaro, align him with Paul Heyman? And there's so much good things that could come against these guys. There's so, there's so many great opportunities for Cesaro here. Um, obviously, Cesaro and Paul Heyman was talking backstage. I think, I think Cesaro was going, obviously going to the ring to congratulate Fandango. And his picture of becoming the new um, new number one contender for the title. But um, obviously Cesaro was stopped by Paul Heyman and Paul Heyman was just talking to him. And You know, I think Paul Heyman was saying to Cesaro, you know, you've won the IC Championship. You know, you're not at that level yet where you want to be. If you align yourself with me, you will be there. And I think as soon as Cesaro, you know, heard them words from, from Paul Heyman, you know, I think it was just a, a definite yes. Obviously Paul Heyman extended the hand. And um, obviously, Cesaro shook his hand, and you know, they there you go. Them two be, be, became partners, became became allies, you know, became became good friends. And now, guys, we are on here to match one: Cesaro with Paul Heyman against Big E. But what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna skip that match. I'm gonna go on to the match two, which is Goldust and Cody Rhodes against Road Dog and Billy Gunn, the Brotherhood. Against the new age outlaws. Now, guys, if you guys didn't watch WrestleMania, I'm sure you probably did. Um, obviously, the Shield uh, triple power bombed uh, Billy Gunn, and he came out with a nasty injury. Apparently, he was coughing up blood on uh, 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 backstage, so uh, it's not looking good for the new age outlaws. I think that's just an injury that's just written off TV for a couple of months. You know, I'm not quite sure when they'll be back, but you know, the tag team, the tag team division doesn't really need them. The authority doesn't even need them anymore. You know, they have. Batista and Randy Orton, so uh, you know, it was a good little run that uh, the, you know the new AJ Laws had, but for me, it kind of killed the moment when they captured the tag team championships. You know, I wish they could have captured them in more, you know, in a better way. You know, but you know, I don't think they needed to be tag team champions. But for one last time, I'm pretty sure they just wanted one more run, and they got it. You know, they got their WrestleMania match. But uh, guys, just for that, I'm gonna go for the Brotherhood to get the victory of the New Age Outlaws. And as you can see, Cody Rose finally, guys, gets a victory here on NXT against Billy Gunn. Is it time for Cody Rose to break free and become a singles competitor? Who the hell knows? Maybe, guys, next month I will break free this little trio here. You know, this little, this little group called the Brotherhood, and make them go their separate ways. And that's the way to go, guys. I think I'll be doing that. Probably uh, the start of next, I was in about two or three days, I will break away the uh, Cody Rhodes from the Brotherhood, you know, I'll just split them off, I'll just delete them from my universe mode, and I can pretty sure, just concentrate then on Cody Rhodes there, I'm going to book Cody Rhodes, and uh, yeah, but hopefully guys, you like the matchups as well, and we have Paige against Nikki Bella, who, uh, her sister Brie, actually formed an alliance with uh, Alberto Del Rio last episode, yeah, Daniel Bryan's wife formed an alliance with Alberto Del Rio. Very interesting. That could only happen on Universe Mode. Goes on my Universe Mode anyway. That could only happen here. Holy crap! So it's so weird. We know we have Paige against Nikki Bella. I'm gonna go for Paige because yesterday's episode she actually got a victory over the Women's Champion AJ Lee. Yes, again, guys. Second week in a row. Props to Paige. Now, as you can see, Champion AJ Lee attacked Paige, trying to take out the competition early, but that doesn't even matter because Paige still got the victory even though she's attacked. But well done, Paige. Holy crap. And we have a rematch from uh, yesterday's episode Alberto Del Rio against Batista. I'm going to go for Batista on this one. Now, as you can see, Batista finally getting a victory over Alberto Del Rio. And it looks like uh, Nick uh, Brie Bella didn't come to the aid of uh, Alberto Del Rio on that time. But as you can see, guys, the main event of the evening, Randy Orton, the Viper, going one on one with the Yes Movement, with the B-plus player, the NXT Champion, Daniel Bryan. 
I only go for Randy on this one, guys. And as you can see, my prediction is wrong yet again. Daniel Bryan uh, has won that match, defeating Randy Orton. As you can see, champion Daniel Bryan attacked Randy Orton, trying to take out the competition early. So, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the rivalries that I've actually set up in my universe mode this, for this month. As you can see, Daniel Bryan and um, Randy Orton are in a feud for seven weeks. So it's going to be a two-month uh, long feud. Uh, my second feud is the uh, Alberto Dariel against uh, Batista in a quick four-week feud. And uh, I did say in last week's episode, guys, that I will be uh, using the Women's Champion uh, a bit more. So I've put AJ Lee in a feud with Paige. But as you can see, guys, I'm still using the rivalry system, but I'm just not putting uh, Cesaro in a rivalry. I'm just leaving him out of the rivalry system. It seems to work best when you don't put yourself in there. But the one thing I don't like, one thing I don't like about rivalry system is, guys, like on this match here, like last yesterday's episode, we had Batista against Alberto Del Rio. Today's episode, we have Alberto against Batista, and again, you know, so it's a little bit repetitive. You know, you face you face the same person like nearly every week. And then at the end of the end, at the end of the week, at the end of like the month, you face that same person again in a pay-per-view match. You know, so it's like a, about it's like a five matches uh, you know facing the same person it's going to get a little bit repetitive so hopefully universe mode retur returns in WWE 2K15 on next gen and hopefully they fix um, the rivalry system I think we're in good hands guys with 2K to be honest they're going to be ep absolutely epic but as you can see Big E last yesterday's episode guys was that close of becoming the number one contender to face Cesaro and not the champions. He was then tossed over the top rope by Fandango. So Fandango getting the victory, guys, and becoming the new number one contender. But Big E wants a little bit of retribution. He wants to show the world that he can beat Cesaro. But guys, don't forget, Cesaro has formed an alliance with Paul Heyman. Cesaro is finally a Paul Heyman guy. Cesaro is finally here and hopefully there you go guys Cesaro wearing I'm a Paul Hamer guy attire hopefully you guys enjoy the new attire I've been waiting and looking forward to debuting this new attire and um, I think it's awesome you know I thought I went to community creations and just created the t-shirt then I did a logo off community creations popped it on a t-shirt and there you go guys I made Cesaro a Paul Hamer guy and on the back it says very European, I thought, you know, there's Paul Heyman guys, just Sh shooting the crowd up, you know. Um, I'm not going to try and turn Cesaro heel, I think I'm going to try and turn him face. Like, you no, know, Cesaro is okay the way he is today, uh, in this universe mode. Uh, I'm pretty sure the crowd, um, I can't really hear the crowd today, so I'll turn it a little bit. I think the crowd are booing Cesaro, I'm not quite sure. We might be cheering, cheering him. But as you can see, that, that Intercontinental Championship looks amazing, wearing the waist of uh, Cesaro. And there we have Big E trying to get some retribution for yesterday's mistake of losing that six-man battle royal match. I'm gonna say that attire there is pretty sweet. Red attire is pretty nice. I gotta say. And guys, I haven't forgot about the uh, community. I haven't got, forgot about the um, you know the attires, the superstar threads. I will be doing a video now. I've got the green screen and everything else. I will be pumping them videos out pretty soon. I need to make them, but they will be pretty soon. I'm gonna show off Biggie Langston, I'm gonna show off Cesaro, Jack Swagger, you know, all the main superstars, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan. And uh, hopefully, guys, you guys will enjoy set the, that episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. As you see, Biggie Langston, he's pounding on the chest there. And uh, he thinks he's gonna win me. Not a chance in hell. Biggie Langston. Is going to learn the hard way. Not to mess with Cesaro. He's obviously just formed an alliance with uh, Paul Heyman. And I've got a feeling, guys, Paul Heyman's going to take Cesaro right to the top. Hopefully, he can take me to the top of the ladder. But don't forget, guys, Cesaro um, is aligned with Paul Heyman. But Paul Heyman's also aligned with Brock Lesnar. So, could we see uh, Brock Lesnar on his universe mode and fight Cesaro in the coming months? Who the hell knows? Maybe that'll be a, an awesome fit. That'll probably be a WrestleMania match, you know. Like that match right there, Cesaro against uh, Brock Lesnar. That'll be awesome, you know. Whoever wins, Paul Heyman decides to be with. Oh, not sure if that's boy, Cesaro. Gets with the big boot, misses, and Cesaro again. Again, hit in the gut there. And a big clothesline there from Big Lunch. Going at the blocks pretty damn fast, to be honest. And it's literally 
destroying Cesaro. And uh, hopefully Paul Heyman's not going to be very impressed with his performance so far. And as you can see, like, the heel moves from Paul Heyman. Reversal again. Really? Oh, really? Come on, come on. No, he's targeting the arm. Very good. That's a smart strategy there from uh, Biggie Langston, to be honest. And he's a start. And this is Paul Heyman. He's pissed, guys. Paul Heyman is pissed once again. Wanted to gain some momentum. And again, I keep going for that big beat. What do I keep going for the, the strikes? There you go. I went for it again, Cesaro. Started off very scrappy here. Look, he hasn't got any momentum whatsoever. There you go, a big, uh, big elbow right to the back of Biggie Langton. It's going to be a very hard competition, guys, for Cesaro, in my opinion. And there you go, slamming him down. Can I get him? Going to go for a quick pinfall here. Cesaro with a count. One. And only a one count there by the referee. Oh, and again. And again, he ran straight into that. And there you go, I'm going to pin that time. Now as you can see, Cesaro with the taunt, taunt in the hell, it's a Biggie Langston, as you can see already, what the hell, what the hell, how has he got that, as you can see the, the king of swing, there you go, king of swing, one, two, three, there you go, Cesaro now for some reason has got a signature already, what can he do here, no, 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 reversal there by Biggie Langston, Oh, well done there from Cesaro. This match is going to end pretty quick, guys, I'm pretty sure. I think. I'm not quite sure why it's, why it's gone this quick. There you go. No, reversal. No, I went for the reversal, but obviously it didn't even work. I was a little bit too late then. Cesaro now. Big E with a big ending. Holy crap, this could be kind for Cesaro. Holy crap, well, there you go. Cesaro is down, guys. One. Oh, well done, Paul Heyman. On the road. And a kick out from Cesaro. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been oh so my lord. No, no. Cesaro is getting destroyed by Big E there. Oh no. Referee again. Oh, well done. Poor Hammer. Still distracting the referee. Oh my lord. Like, oh my lord. Like, guys, I'm actually saying this. Like, this has been the worst match I've ever wrestled in my whole entire life. Like, holy crap. Biggie Langston on this game has just literally destroyed me with a big elbow. Oh, missed totally there. Not a good match from Cesaro whatsoever. And as you can see, Cesaro now running. Falls into the ring pole looking at him. Cesaro lifts him up. European uppercut again. We've seen so many men falling from that move. One, two, three. And as you can see, yes. Cesaro has gotten their victory again from out of nowhere. An actually terrible performance from Cesaro. But as you can see, guys, anyone can fall from that European uppercut. A lot of men have been fallen, have been victim from that finish. As you can see, guys, lifts him up in the air. European uppercut. See ya. Bye. Big E. Holy crap. Paul Heyman saved my ass there. Big E Langston caught me with a big ending. And that right there, Cesaro was so close of losing his first match with Paul Heyman. But Paul Heyman, the manager that he is, distracted the referee. I gave some momentum in the end for a split second, picked him up and hit him with a European uppercut. Props to Cesaro. We are on our way, guys. We're on our way to great things. Great things await for myself and Paul Heyman. I'm now going to exit back to the main you guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed that match. For some reason, I'm not quite sure if I actually picked, like, clicked the. Um, the quick type, you know, the quick match type. I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure if I picked that accident, but um, that match pretty ended pretty fast in my opinion. We got our like, signature pretty quick, we got our finisher pretty quick, and it's a bizarre match to be honest. And as you can see, guys, that match card is now over. This week's NXT take, this week's NXT taping is over. Cesaro aligned himself with Paul Heyman in his debut with Paul Heyman. He gets a massive victory. Of a Big E Langston. If that's what's to come, guys, for Cesaro, that's probably one of the worst matches possibly wrestled this year. And somehow he still managed to pick up a victory. It's one of you guys, it's that European uppercut. Well, that European uppercut is just totally amazing. And, um, like, props to uh, Cesaro there, like, and props to Big E as well. I don't think he could. But he's one of the, one of the many that have felt victim to the European uppercut. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you, did, if you guys did, then leave a like on the video right now. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for week three of my NXT Universe mode.